So, um, the last few days I've been thinking back on all the guitars I've had in my life. And I don't know what got me to thinking about that. But I've been thinking on it. And I've had a lot, and I do mean a lot, of guitars throughout my life. A few of them, I would give anything to have back. The rest of them, I don't really care so much about. I mean, they served their purpose for the time being, and they moved on, hopefully, to bigger and better things, and hopefully made other people happy. Now, you can call me crazy if you want, but I can actually remember back to my very first guitar, I should say two guitars, that I ever had. I was like maybe three, four years old, and my uncle, um, one day bought not one, but two name brand Gibson flat top guitars to the house he gave to my dad to give it to me to play with. And they was, you know, those full size, big old giant. To me, you know, that being that little, they was huge. You know, they was like ginormous to me. Anyways, they both only lasted about a week because, you know, being that little and being a kid, I thought I could play with them like a regular toy and try to play with them like a guitar at the same time. And I can recall, you know, the next thing you got to remember, I was literally dragging them through the house by the strings, literally. So there went that down the drain. I wished that I had those back, obviously, because they're probably worth a shit ton of money now. Anyway, I've had countless electrics and acoustics of every brand you could think of under the sun in my lifetime. A lot of them even with no brands. They didn't even have a name on the headstock anywhere on the body. Some of them didn't even have no sticker or anything saying made in China, made in Japan, made in Indonesia. Nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. No markings of any kind whatsoever. But I've had a few that was actually really good guitars to be cheap and cheaply made out of cheap material. That was damn great guitars, actually. I've had harmonies. I've had a couple of case. I've had hondos. I've had hollows. I've had all kind. I mean, a lot of brands that a lot of people ain't never even heard of, probably, or brands that you don't even hear of no more. And then, of course, I've had a lot of squires, a lot of amplifones. And, of course, a lot of name brand Fender. And I knew from an early age, um, from the sound of them and the looks of them, that the acoustics that I would love the most was a Gibson or an Epiphone. And to this day, don't get me wrong, I love Taylor's. I love Blue Ridge. I love a, a lot of other brands of acoustics. But when it comes down to it, for tone, you can't get no better than an Epiphone or a name brand Gibson. I absolutely hated Martin. I hated Martin with everything in me. To me, Martins sound like pure shit. They, their tone is too flat and too dead to me. Um, when you're buying a Martin, you're basically just buying a name and fancy wood. Uh, a little bit of craftsmanship, a little bit of quality, but not so much. And I don't care for the tone of them. I just, I never have and I never will. Gibsons. The only electrics that I like in a Gibson pretty much is the semi hollow line, like the ES 335, the 345, 355, uh, the Epiphone Casino, the Ep Epiphone Riviera. I mean, I could go on and on with all their semi hollows. That's pretty much the only electrics by Gibson and Epiphone that I've ever really cared for. LS Paul, you can't give me one. They're too damn heavy. I mean, I don't want to play bricks sitting down or standing up, literally, because it's what it feels like to me. And the way the neck angle is from the body, you know, it's like the body's straight, the neck angle angles way off, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's not that's not my style. And uh, when it comes to squires, I've had, like I said, a lot of them in my time. There's only three that I've had that was bad apples. 
two strats and a telecaster. There's all three made in Indonesia. And I don't know what it was about them. But the only problem with them, all three guitars, is no matter what you've done, no matter what kind of a setup you have put on it, it didn't matter what cosmetic or structural work was done to them, the necks absolutely would not stay straight. I mean, they was constantly warping and, or bowing, either way up or down. And like I said, I don't know if it was just, I got a hold of three lemons at different times or what, but every other squad I've had though, I put it up with the custom shop finger any day of the week. You might call me crazy for saying that. People would think that I'm crazy saying that I'd put up a $200 guitar against a four, six, eight, ten thousand dollar guitar, but I would because Squire has always been great in craftsmanship and quality. Their parts might be cheaper, cheaper material, but they're built to last just like a name brand Fender, and for good reason. That that name, that Fender name, that history, that heritage, is what backs up the Squire and makes the Squire a great guitar. Right now, the only guitar I own in my name is a Squire Mustang. Absolutely fucking love it. Absolutely love it. It's the first Mustang I've ever had. It's the only second Mustang I've ever played in my life. The first Mustang I played was an actual Fender with a single coil pickup in the neck and a double single coil, might as well say, humbucking pickup in the bridge. It was a badass guitar. But anyway, I knew from early age that the electric that I would love the most would be a Fender Stratocaster. As far back as my memory recalls, the first Strat I ever seen on TV was a clip from a documentary where Buddy Holly was standing on stage playing his Fender Stratocaster. And I thought that was the most absolute coolest looking electric guitar I'd ever seen in my life up to that point. And whenever I finally was old enough and big enough to get my hands on one, I said to myself, this is it. This is the guitar for me. And it's been Fender and Squire all my life. I've had several Chinese and Japanese and Indonesian made Strat and Tele copies. Great, some of them great, some of them not so great. But most copies, are actually very good quality because they're trying their best to mimic a Fender or Squire as best as they can and most of the time they're actually a good guitar. I can't think of a single one that I had that was an off brand or no, no name brand or whatever that was actually a bad guitar. So uh, that brings me up to my point to where you know I've had enough guitars throughout my life to probably feel at least two good sized rooms up in a house. And yeah, that's a lot of guitars. That really is. Amps as well. I've had about the same amount number of amps. Um, the guitars that I miss the most. Definitely the first one was my real vintage 67 Fender Stratocaster. It was sunburst with the Rosewood fingerboard. It was stolen, unfortunately. My number two most missed guitar that I'd love to have back was my Epiphone uh, Pro Series Acoustic. That guitar sounded like a $5,000 guitar. That thing was just perfect. And then my last two that I missed most was my recent Player Series Strat that was in uh, Buttercream Blonde and my Peaches Ventura Strat that was in Seafoam Green that I had to sell to basically live because I was out of a job, out of money, everything else, and all my financial resources was tapped out and I had to survive. So um, those four guitars, those are the ones that I missed the most and I would give anything to have back, but that's probably never gonna happen. I can get copies of three of them, but that 67 Strat, yeah, I could maybe find a real vintage one or go through a custom shop, but I'll have to be loaded to be able to afford something like that because those are very, very expensive. 
But anyways, I just wanted to make a little video talking about some of the guitars I've had in my life and the ones that got away that I wish I had back and the others that served their purpose and rocked for a good time, but moved on to other things. So uh, that might give y'all some think about some guitars that you've had or other instruments or whatever, just, uh, you know, maybe drop something down in the comments. Let me know. Um, comment on this video. Tell me what y'all think. But for now, peace and love.